All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, what are we gonna do in this video? So I see, like, since I opened up my private server for people, um, I see a lot of people making quite a lot of mistakes. Uh, this guy is one of them. He's playing on our server, and he asked me for, you know, for some for some tips and tricks. So uh, I wanted to make a mid-game uh, video on what kind of bees you need, what kind of bees you don't need. Um, I'm, I would say I'm more of an advanced mid-game player. I know that I don't need those vectors, actually. Um, but yeah, anyways, I like to collect mythics now. I'm like in this phase where I can actually get mythics quite simple, quite easily. It's gonna become much easier. And I'm gonna get some more slots very soon. I was just too lazy to spend my money on slots, which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I could have easily already had like 46 or something thingies. You see that there's not a lot of uh, honey up here because I wasted it on a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of royal jellies uh, just to get some better bees. I'm gonna talk about some bees and some tips and tricks along the way. It's very important. There's a a gigantic, a gigantic mistake mid-game players can do. And that actually is, I'm gonna show you, um, going towards one color. You don't want to do that. I, I mean, he's not necessarily going hardcore to one color, but he's kind of re uh, heading towards the red uh, kind of hive, as you can see here. Uh, the red bee, uh, not the red bee, but uh, you know, you can see him here. And he's going towards red. And that's a bad, bad move. Because the thing is, if you haven't finished your quests, then uh, you definitely need a mixed hive. This is, there is no way around it. And every pro gamer, every player that has passed mid game to end game is going to tell you this. Because if you have a red hive and you have a mission where you have to do like, let's say 600 million on the blue flower field, it's going to be very difficult. Now on one side I have to say, that uh, I'm also turning. It's 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 very easy to go into a red hive. Like it's the transition sometimes happens by itself. But um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you which bees are absolutely crucial, absolutely crucial for a mixed hive. So there's one thing that I have done, uh, which means uh, I have avoided bomb pollen, and that is because my pollen is going to fill up so quick doing that. Um, let me just quickly go through the bees. I, I think I have one or two bomb pollens in there, but in general, I try to avoid bomb pollen because I want to farm, which means, uh, let's say I'm gonna have here a million, or even less, hopefully, and I'm gonna get like five, four, three million on these, uh, on this side, on the honey side. So, uh, there are a few bees that you have to actually get rid of. So, if you have a bomber bee, um, yeah, you don't need that. That bomber bee is probably the worst bee you can have uh, when you're in mid game. I don't know. Maybe he's good in the future. I, I don't know. I don't think so. Bomber bee is just not a good bee. Uh, I would keep him out. It gives you 15% bomb pollen. Obviously, if you always want to have a big hive, like your hive to be full, your pollen bag uh, to be full, then I don't recommend the bomber bee at all. Uh, the basic bee you can actually get gifted. Um, it is quite worth it uh, to gift the basic bee. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, you know it's it's really good, but I wouldn't do it if you in the if you're in the middle uh, or in the beginning, I would definitely put him on your event bees. If you get a, a star treat, you know that's what I'm doing currently because you cannot um, level them up with treats. Uh, so yeah, those that that's the first tip I can give you. Now the brave bee. Let's talk about the brave bee. Uh, the gifted hive bonus actually gives you plus one bee attack, which can be useful, I guess. But, um, yeah, it gives you movement speed, 50% energy uh, on that bee. Mm, yeah, it's all right. It's all right, but I would still avoid it. Now, the first blue bee we have here is the bumblebee. You don't need that because it has a bl blue bomb pollen. Now, the good thing about it is, though, it can give you capacity bonuses, and you might need that. So, maybe, but only maybe, if you're later in the game, uh, you should maybe get, get a gifted bumblebee. But... It's not necessary, but it's pretty good if you really want that capacity to stock up. But um, yeah, I kept it out of my hive. I might actually get it in uh, in a later date, but as of right now, I'm gonna keep it out. So the cool bee is actually really important because it's gonna give you a blue boost, 
Uh, you're going to need that. Uh, the hasty B, that's going to give you the hasty tokens. The haste tokens, that's going to increase your speed. You don't necessarily need that, but uh, you could get one or two hasty Bs. But I I don't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, to be honest. You, you can replace them with much better stuff. But the gifted hive bonus is going to give you 20% player movement speed. Um, speed can be very important later on, even if you, uh, for example, if you have the precise P to catch these uh, uh, targets. So you can get a hay CB, you definitely can. I kept it out, but I might actually get one in the future as well. Now the Lookabee is very important because it's gonna give you 25% critical power and it's gonna give you focus tokens. So they are very important too. Um, they're gonna give you, boost up your damage. So focus tokens are really good. Grants 3% critical chance for uh, 20 seconds, stacks up to 10 times. So yeah, Lookabee is very important, uh, definitely keep that. Now the red bee as well. Uh, you can get the red bee. You can get one or two. Two are fine too, but I'm gonna stick with one currently uh, because you always want that red boost token. It's very important. Uh, the rascal bee actually gives you bomb. I would get rid of the rascal. Uh, yeah, and also if you, as you can see here, 30% red bomb pollen on a gifted. I would not keep it. Now the stubborn bee. Um, yeah, the pollen mark is pretty good. I kept the stubborn bee out. Um, the Gifted Hive bonus gives you 20% ability token lifespan. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. But, um, yeah, I kept it out. I don't need the Stubborn Bee. But if you want to go, like, later on, like, for, for, for White Hives and stuff, I think the Stubborn Bee could be quite good. So, Bubble Bee, also. Uh, a lot of bubble pollen uh, later on important for the Blue Hive. But as of right now, the blue bombs, you don't want the blue bombs. Uh, so, it's not necessarily a good bee. I mean, it is for later on if you go for a blue hive maybe that's important for you but as of right now you want to keep it mixed so you don't need that buckle bee is very important because it gives you the blue boost tokens it also is going to give you 20 percent blue field capacity which is really good if you have a gifted uh which i do so you really need that uh we have the commander bee uh you can actually get two of those as well uh, I got one currently because uh, I was doing the uh, the mythic hunt basically with royal jelly, so I got rid of the one commander bee. But uh, yeah, also very good. Gives you focus tokens as well. I know this one also gives you buzz pump. Uh, it's gonna give you some bomb uh, throughout the mix if you can't necessarily avoid it. But the commander bee is actually a really good bee, so uh, keep it. Definitely keep it. The demo bee you don't need at all. I mean, I just don't think it's good unless you want to have like a bomb. Uh, hive, I don't know. Uh, for mid game, I would not recommend it. Exhausted bee, that's actually really good. Um, if you have the exhausted bee gifted, uh, you should keep it. Uh, due to the 20% white field capacity, it's very hard to come by to actually boost white fields. So uh, if you want to have a mixed hive, that's actually a pretty good bee. I don't know. I think I replaced them with something because I just had too many buzz bombs. And I'm not that much a lot. Of, well, currently I'm quite a lot on white hives, uh, on white fields. But um, yeah, the bomb just that just too much bomb is not good. Same goes for the fire uh, fire bee. Also has red bomb. Um, but I g got that in for the 50% flame tokens, uh, flame pollen. But the, pro uh, the thing is, I have a lot of spicy bees. Spicy, I have like four spicy, well, it's not a lot, but, um, you know, they do some flame. So 50% flame pollen is actually really good. So I actually uh, thought, yeah, okay, I'm going to take that bomb. Um, Frosty bee, again, gives you blo blue bomb pollen, but um, the gifted bonus is just too good. It's going to give you three. Oh, no, wait, sorry. <laughs> it's going to give you blue bomb uh, pollen. But it's going to give you the blue boost, that's what I meant, not not the gifted one. But it's going to give you 20% um, pollen uh, from blue flower fields for 15 stacks up to 10 times. You're going to uh, need those boosts, so that's actually really good. So you, I would say keep one frosty in your hive. Um, also, the honeybee, obviously gifted, uh, 1.5 times 1.5 honey from tokens, very important. Gives you the honey gift, the honey mark as well. So that's also a very important bee. Uh, you don't have to get it gifted. You can literally just, you know, at one point, uh, just go for the gifteds with royal jellies and you can get it through royal jelly. So definitely don't, uh, don't put like a star treat or something on it. You, it's pretty simple to get a honeybee. Now the rage bee. Um... Rage B, you need one to two, I would say, uh, because it gives you a gifted plus one B attack. And uh, yeah, it gives you token links, uh, it gives you rage uh, tokens. You need them for a lot of quests later on. So I would keep it. Good B, I would keep one to two. Um, and same goes for the Riley B, also really good. Gives you the red boost tokens again. Uh, I would keep one uh, on this one. 
and for the shark to be also very good um, because it gives you the, the haste gives you token links uh, gives you here it has movement speed and 25% white pollen again very important keep it it's a good bee just keep it just do it just do it now let's talk about baby bee here um yeah baby bee is going to give you loot luck and um there's a debate online it's just not a really good bee um you can keep between one to two i'm gonna go back and only keep one so that's gonna be the next bee that i'm going to get rid of um because it's just gonna give you loot luck it's gonna spawn these little hearts there you go just did it and it's gonna give you a uh, loot luck as you can see here times two uh, pollen which is really good and 50 percent loot luck um i would keep one to two as of right now i got two but i might actually switch for one because later on uh the tadpole bee is gonna give you that baby love as well uh so if it's if it's uh gifted so that's pretty good but as of now i'm gonna stay with a baby bee i would say one or two now here i made a big mistake but that's also because i did that for the sake of a video you need at least four carpenter bees um because they actually give you the honey mark and the pollen mark uh, which is going to convert once you're inside of it is going to convert uh, the pollen. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. That's what I definitely have to shave and uh, cha shave uh, change in my hive. Mm. Really important. So, yeah, I would say four to six maybe you can keep. Uh, Demon bee you don't really need. Bomb, bomb, you know, bomb, instant bomb, bomb, bomb. This is just a pure bomb bee, but I think it does some damage. Yeah, plus six attack, that's pretty good. But, yeah, no thanks. Uh, the diamond bee, now that actually gives uh, the blue boost, which is nice. Uh, it has a very nice gifted bonus, uh, times 1.2 convert rate. Uh, the honey gift as well, and it also has a pa uh, passive, which is called shivery shimmering honey. Um... <clears throat> Man, my voice is getting, you know, I'm losing my voice here. Mm. But yeah, it's a good bee. Only keep one of it and only keep uh, only keep it if you have it gifted. The normal version is not necessarily very good, so I would keep it only if you get it gifted. Lion bee is going to be bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh, so, yeah, nah. Not going to not going to go for that. Um, music bees. Uh, you can keep a bit more than 2 actually. You can do like 2 to 3 baby. Uh, gives you melody tokens, focus tokens again, and if gifted 25% uh, pollen from bee gathering, which is really good. Um, and the token link, also very nice. Keep it. I I got I got two rocking right now because I also have them gifted. I think. <laughs> Where's my second one? I think yeah. I think I would give yeah. There it is. That's the other one. Um, so that's pretty good. Ninja bee, you don't necessarily need. You have 5% bee movement speed is kind of trash. Uh, haste tokens is good, but the blue bomb again, you know. I don't I, I don't think the value of the ninja bee is very good. So if you have it in your hive, take it out. We have a shy bee. We need two shy bees. Um, it has 5% bee ability pollen. Red boost. Uh, this one has red bomb as well, but due to the other ones that we have here, we have nectar lover as well. It's actually really good. So I'm going to keep it in uh, with two. You can keep one. You can do two. That's up to you. And now we're going to come to the Mythic Bees. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here with my Mythic Bees. i got to be completely honest. So my plan is to keep uh, four Spicy Bees, uh, four Tadpole Bees. Precise Bee is good. And I'm going to get two Fuzzy Bees. Uh, Bouillon Bee, I actually got gifted with like 10 Gingerbread Bees in my other video, which is insane. Um, and well, Vector Bees. This is where things are going to become a little weird. Uh, vector bees are quite good to have if you are a complete white hive, but in this case, since we're mixed, I'm just gonna keep it in as of now, you know? It has a lot of stuff, you can like read through it, but you need the vector uh, actually to be gifted, because then you have the gifted ability with this uh, mark surge, causes all your active marks to collect seven uh, pollen from all flowers in their radius, extends the duration of your active marks by uh, one, per uh, one second, uh, each mark can perform up to five surges, which is really good. So you need that in white hive so you can instant convert. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? So yeah, like I said, for the fire, it's really good to have some spicy bees in there. Later on, if you want to go to a full red hive, spicy bees are going to be like your main bee probably because it does like so much flame stuff, which is really cool. Um, and also with this, uh, because we have some new bees, right? We have the precise bee, we have the bouillon bee. 
Uh, I personally think you can actually stock up on those. Bouillon B actually gives you a gifted hive bonus of capacity, which is really nice. And it also gives you uh, golden balloons, which also spawns for other people too. So this is a really, really, really good bee. It's probably one of the best bees in the game. And it also gives you, as you can see here, the blessings, and it's going to give you uh, a buff. If I really quickly uh, redeem that, you can see this. It's going to give you a buff like that. It's going to give you capacity, depends uh, on how much balloon uh, blessing you have. So that's really strong. Also, the precise bee is a very, very strong bee, especially if you want to do some boss kills and stuff, because it has this super crit uh, chance if it's gifted. And uh, there's some gifted stuff in here. I mean, look, just read through it. This is just insane. It's a lot of stuff. I might actually need uh, to do another video on those. Now, that's, that's the part about the bees. Now, let's talk about something that's super important, and that's going to be the blender. Blender, blendering is the most important thing that you can think of, ladies and gentlemen. You have to blender, you have to get these things, and you have to get these things. Now, don't buy the guards. I mean, if you look at me, I don't even have the guards. I'm gonna buy them at a later stage because they cost uh, red extract and blue extract, and you need that for the coconut canister, which is better which is much better value, so don't buy these two. You can buy the mask, you need the honey mask actually, and you need the comb, uh, honeycomb belt, or whatever it's called, it's really good as well. Um, and later on, uh, you should save for the gummy mask, and after that you're gonna get the canister, and after that canister, you can actually start thinking about these things here, right? Um, but as of right now, don't buy him. Don't make that mistake. I made that mistake on another account and it was just stupid. So don't do it. Don't buy it. Just buy these two. Keep the old ones and you can always... And that's so important. Always blender. Always have something in your blender. And another very, 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 very important part. Don't waste your resources. That's the worst thing. That's the number one thing. The number one mistake people do. Don't do field boosts. Don't go for field boosting. Don't waste your items. Don't waste your resources. It's so important. I can't stress this enough. You have to understand this. You have to get that into that tiny brain of yours. Don't don't waste your uh, resources, okay? So I, I kind of got hyped here, okay? Kind of got hyped here. So yeah, don't waste your resources. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's tempting. I mean, and listen, I've done it. I've done it, you know, I, I catch myself sometimes, I'm like, ah, I could put a purple potion in there, and ah, maybe use this, maybe use a cloud vial, or maybe use some beans, don't do it, don't do it until you're in the end game, you will need those resources to craft very, very important materials that you need to become good, so... That's about it for now for mid-game players, man. I'm gonna maybe do a part two if you guys like this video. Make sure uh, to give me some feedback on it, actually. Write down uh, something in the comment section below. Um, what would you change? Maybe you don't like the way I build my hive. Maybe what would you change, you know? Just write it down in the comment section below. And, uh, you know, on my good fields, uh, I saw myself... Well, I have to say that I did boost. But uh, on a good field of mine... For example, pineapple patch and coconut patch, um, I made, I don't know, like 15 million a second. So it's really good for mid game to do that. You know, then you know you're kind of heading towards end game. Um, is there something else I want to say? Yes, there is. Every day do your bosses. If you don't even have time to play a lot, but you have to do the coconut crab, you have to do king beetle, you have to go uh, do uh, the tunnel bear, do them whenever you can. Now, I'm actually really slow on my stumpy because I was just lazy and I know it's a mistake because I also want that stump uh, field amulet. I don't have it yet, which is kind of crazy to think about. But um, yeah, I'm kind of like trying to level up my hive. My gotta buy some slots. Uh, you know, it's very important, but sometimes I just see myself wasting my money for other stuff, but I actually have to buy some slots soon. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it. Do your amulets. Also, this part is super duper duper important. You go inside here, and you get yourself the amulets. I actually didn't buy one yet. I actually am still on the gold one. But, you know, you gotta do it. Super important. Look at this. I have 31. Super important. You have to do it. Go in there and then get it. And, um, man, there's so much stuff I can go over, you know. 
So I'm gonna cut the video here. I might actually do a part two. Whoa, I actually landed on that. Uh, I might actually do a part two. This is already 20 minutes, so uh, make sure to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but it doesn't matter because, well, I can nobody can see a thumbs down anymore, but you can write me a comment in the comment section below. I actually read my comments, you know, I go through them every night and I reply to you people. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and peace out.